regardless of whether you're a 10 or a two, you are going to walk away with so much, so many nuggets that you can immediately take from this and go implement on your social media. Matter of fact, I completely expect to see y'all typing away, wanting to do all the things that I'm telling you to do immediately while I'm not looking. Okay. And that's fine. I don't blame you. Okay. So my name is Brooklyn. My business partner is Angela. Oh my gosh. So sorry. I don't know how to make that stop. Um, can y'all still see my screen? No. Did it go away? Okay. There we go. It did go. Oh, nope. It's back. Okay. Uh, let me move that out of the way. All right. So um, my name is Brooklyn. My business partner's name is Angelin. Um, we, between the two of us, have about 25 years of marketing experience. Um, we met about two years ago in a networking event, and she said the words email marketing. And I was looking for a person to do my email marketing in my own business because I didn't want to do that part. And when she said, oh, I love email marketing, I was like, oh my gosh, God was like slapping me on the top of my head saying, you don't need to hire someone. You need to partner with someone that has skin in the game. So we created Next Chapter Social. I teach, I coach. She didn't want to teach. She doesn't write classes. So it was a perfect match made in heaven. Uh, we manage um, our own plus about 13 other accounts for other businesses um, we've coached over 100 women. I've written over 45 social media classes, and we have two e-courses now. I'm Trek certified, so this is a Trek certified class. You will get a CE credit for it as long as you email me your license. I can have my virtual assistant put your name and number in, and you'll get a credit for taking this class today. Um dozens of in-person digital marketing classes around my area, plus countless ones on Zoom. These are just some of the accounts that we've worked on as digital marketers. So we know our stuff. Um, anything from um, this is a nonprofit to worldwide, I mean, a, a nationwide chain to um, Gwen Stefani's brand, Walt Disney, um, Four Seasons Hotel, you name it, we've done it. And um, my expertise is actually working with real estate agents. My husband owns a brokerage in Dallas, and I, um, it's, it's definitely something I'm really good at, and I can help you stand out in a crowded marketplace, starting with this class. This is a really good one. So shameless plug, um, I, I do see that, um, Delisa, you are driving, so you might not want to do this, but... Um, if you like and follow us on Next Chapter Social on our Instagram, several times throughout this class, I'm going to refer to our account to show you examples. You don't necessarily have to follow us, although if you want some tips and tricks, we put those on there all the time. But we are going to be using our account as an example of what I'm talking about here in a second. Our agenda is I'm going to teach you the actual lay of the land of your profile and what every part of it is for and what you should have in it. You might think right now that you have it all dialed in perfectly, and that might be the case, but I've never taught a class where everyone didn't walk away from this saying, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Um, the vocabulary so that you have commonality when we're talking about your profile versus your bio versus stories and highlights and engagement stickers. What in the hell does all that mean and how do I use it to the best of my ability to convert clicks to cash? How do you do that? And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you are going to get two free things today. One of them is the killer IG profile in 20 minutes. That's a QR code that you can scan with your phone on the screen. Of course, Dawn is recording this. So if she sends this back out later or puts this in some sort of group, just, you know, fast forward and scan it later. Um, but it's a download that will allow you to completely dial in your Instagram with what I'm telling you in under 20 minutes. Um, again, my phone is ringing. Okay. So uh, brand kits in Canva, why you need them, um, what they're for, how to use them. And most importantly, we're going to be talking about that because you're going to get after this 
free trending brand sets that you can convert into your brand kit. Um, and we'll talk about that more later, but those are what, that's what you're going to walk away from, walk away with. Um, neighborhoods. Angelin used this word one time and I've used it for all the real estate classes because I think it, it's kind of punny, you know, she calls all the pieces of Instagram, different neighborhoods. You've got your stories, you've got your profile where you've got your, your highlights, which are the circles, and then you've got your feed. So those are kind of your four neighborhoods. Some people do have an additional neighborhood called, well, two threads, Instagram threads. Um, I can't see y'all. So that makes it a little awkward. So I'm going to make this bigger, but if I make y'all bigger then I can't see my screen, so it's a conundrum, but, um, stories, um, I'm sorry, threads. And then there's something else called broadcast channel. Does anybody have a broadcast channel on their Instagram? No. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing this really quick. I'm going to share this go to advanced. I'm sharing my phone. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. And I'll do, I love the online format of this class because I can show you, I can share my phone and it makes it a lot easier because I can't do this in a live class with a projector. Okay. All right. So let's go over here to Instagram. Um, okay. So I'm going to go to one of my clients that I manage. Um, and I'm going to show you that she has a broadcast channel. Okay, do you see right there where it says Closet Conversations with Eugenia? When I click on that, you can see that she has a, a broadcast channel just with the people who have subscribed to her broadcast channel. The way that you will know if you have this is if you click the plus sign in your Instagram if you click that plus sign, it will say down here, channel. It'll give you an option. Right now, most of you probably have real post story, story highlight and channel, but if, if, if you might not have channel. I don't on one of my accounts, but I do on the other. So that's something that's being rolled out to people. Um, so that is another neighborhood. So now that we're clear on the neighborhoods, I'm gonna stop sharing this and go back to the presentation. So neighborhoods um, are stories, feed, highlights, and profile for the sake of this class. But yes, you have threads and you could possibly have broadcast channels as well. Now, there are parts of a pro profile. So we're gonna get a little bit granular and this part is the boring part of the whole class, but just so we're, we're working with apples and apples. This is your user ID. Next chapter social um, is your user ID. This right here, where it says marketing and social media You're training. You're not sharing your screen any longer. Oh, okay. You did hold your on. phone, but you didn't go back on the computer. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for telling me. Um, okay. Okay, so you have, um, I'm going to go back just to make sure, you've got your four main neighborhoods. Now we're going to break down your actual profile into smaller neighborhoods. They're like streets, you know. Um, you've got your user ID, which is Next Chapter Social. Can you all see that? Okay, you've got your user ID. That can be changed. You also have your name line. So this is called your name line, marketing and social media training. You've got your bio, which can be a hundred. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Can y'all see my screen? Yes. Okay. You've got, um, this part is your bio, which is 150 characters. And then you've got your links. Pretty straightforward. Most people know that. What you don't know is that your user ID and your name line need to be different and your name line needs to be made of searchable terms. So marketing and social media training, I'm gonna turn my phone on um, airplane mode, hopefully that will help 
people stop doing that. Um, your this this dark line right here, marketing and social media training, is the most golden opportunity for you to categorize yourself on Instagram. Your your posts on Instagram. I'm going to say something super controversial are not necessarily for your followers first. Your posts on Instagram aren't even to necessarily attract followers. Your posts on Instagram are meant to train Instagram who to show you to. I'm going to say that again. Your posts on Instagram, your name line, your user ID, the 150 characters in your bio, and the links that you use are training Instagram what category you fall into. If you're posting about a little bit of everything, Instagram is going to be like one of those cartoons where the smoke is coming out of her ear, his ears. It's like, Bing! It, Instagram doesn't know what to do with you. So what you do, what, what Instagram does with you is Instagram puts you in that buggy at the front of the grocery store of the take backs with the warm yogurt. You're in the warm yogurt bin. Okay. You're in no man's land. Nobody wants to touch that buggy. Nobody wants to put all that crap back. Nobody wants to try to categorize it or figure out where it goes or whether it's even not expired. They, you're in the other bin. Okay. So until you start getting super niche in your content and saying it in your profile, in your entire holistic profile, in a way that trains Instagram, this is who she is. She sells in Rockwall, Texas. She specializes in the old town commercial homes in downtown Rockwall or whatever it's called in your zoning. My husband, I always say, and I'm sorry, sometimes I say bad words. I tell Matt that he specializes in shitty houses zoned commercial because he, within an eight block square radius or whatever you call it, in the rail district of Frisco, Texas, all of his business has been down here. That is his niche. So anytime someone's looking for a charming, historic, old property, infill development, he pops up because he's trained Instagram who he is and where he, you know, where he operates. So your username, Next Chapter Social, okay, is the name of our business. It's very simple. It's nextchaptersocial.com. It's Next Chapter Social on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest. Um, all of the things we, we made sure that it's the same everywhere. Very, very important. Our name line is what we do. Okay. People who are searching for marketing and social media training will find us, but more importantly, we're telling Instagram what our account is about. We are marketing and social media training. So when somebody's searching for Instagram tips, Oh, next chapter social does that. Does that make sense? Instagram now knows who to show us for. No, it knows who to show us to. Raise your hand if you sometimes get sucked into reels. Okay. Or TikToks. Okay. Raise your hand if you do stories, if you like to watch stories. Okay. I am not a story watcher, but I'll get sucked into a reel like nobody's business. But when I'm watching reels, I don't always watch reels, but when I do, I'm scrolling, right? And it's just an endless feed. It's like heaven. It never ends. Okay. Just lots of reels and reels. How do you think those reels are fed to me? Is it all the people I'm following? No, it's the people that I'm watching. So if I watch a reel of little baby goats licking a wall, it's going to show me more farm animals doing stupid things, okay? And it's looking for other farm accounts that say they specialize in baby animals or whatever. So now it's just feeding me. I'm not searching for that. Instagram's learning my behavior and then finding accounts to give to me and saying, oh, here's some more. 
oh, here's some more. It's kind of like when you go to Nordstrom or a place where they work on commission and the buckle at the mall, you get a pair of pants, the person learns your size and the style that you like. And then all of a sudden you're in the dressing room and you get five more pairs of pants slung over. Here you go. You might want to try these too, right? That's the way Instagram learns you. You're not searching for it. It's, it's learning you and giving you, it's searching for accounts that you would like. Does that help that analogy? So if your Instagram profile is not dialed in, and your posts are not repeating to Instagram, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is who I do it for, and this is how you can work with me. If you're not repeating that, you get put in with the warm yogurt, okay? Nobody wants to be there. Okay, the other thing, there are three feeds on your Instagram. This tends to be where I find the most people get excited. There's your post feed that looks like this. There's your reels feed that is just the reels on your account. And then there's your tagged feed. Again, I'm going to go over here and y'all are going to have to remind me to not get so excited that I don't share my screen again. Um... And go to our feed. Okay. So here's what mine looks like. It does, they don't always say posts, reels, and tagged. It could just be these icons. Okay. Raise your hand if you have the words. Raise your hand if you have the icons like me. Okay. All right. So this is your feed. It's just a little grid. This is your reels feed which when I click on that, you can see, um, you see how it's all reels, N none of my regular posts, because see, this is a regular post. This is just about our, our blog, right? That's not a reel. So on the reels feed, only reels, only your reels show up. On this feed, this is everybody that has tagged you in your business on Instagram. So we have been tagged in my Aunt Cindy's uh, upholstery business feed. This was a pickleball class that I taught. And I didn't teach pickleball, but I taught pickleball influencer social media. I know it's super niche, but that was that. They tagged me in that. Um, this is another tag in that. Um, this One of our accounts tagged us. Um, you know, it goes on and on, but this is where you find user generated content. Other people who have tagged you like this lady is in our coaching group and she tagged us. So if you want to find that, that's where that would be found. So you have three feeds, you have four aspects of your profile and you have four neighborhoods. So that's kind of a lay of the land and vocabulary. Now, let me stop sharing this and go back to sharing my screen. Okay. Is there any questions so far? Anybody want to say anything? Y'all good? Okay. All right. So I love this. I just want to say great job, Brooklyn. Like I didn't even, you know, you, we open it and it changes often too, or at least I thought it did. It probably doesn't, but like just this really helps. <laughs> just boiling down the basics, right? Yes, a lot exactly. of people start with the difficult stuff and they don't, everybody just starts confused. So yeah. we're all going to be on the same page when this is all over. Thank you. None of us are going to be in the warm yogurt bin. Okay. So types of posts. You have five different types of posts that you can make on Instagram. You have an image or a graphic. Okay, and I'll show you the all these different types of posts here in a second. Again, on Next Chapter Social, um, our Instagram. Image or a graphic. You have carousels. Anybody here want to be brave and say they don't know what a carousel means? Okay, 
Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? Linda. Thank you, Linda. You going to get a star. Um, Linda, carousels are mini PowerPoints, little miniature PowerPoints on Instagram. That's all that is. Carousels for realtors are golden opportunities to share your expertise. And I'm going to show y'all how in a second. Reels, y'all know reels. They're just a minute and 30 second video. That's either a minute and 30 seconds or less. Stories are 60 seconds or they can be. And those go in behind your little profile image. I'll show you how to create one in a second. Highlights are saved story categories. And I'm going to show you that too. So you've got images or graphics. That's one type of post. A carousel is multiple images uploaded where you scroll through them. Reels is a video. Stories is a video or a graphic. It can be a combination of both. And highlights are those stories that you save forever. Any questions on that? Okay. All right. This right here is a carousel post on our Instagram. Okay. And I'm going to go back and share so I can show you my screen. Okay. I'm not going to go back over to the PowerPoint because it takes too long to go between them, but I'm gonna go through these different parts. Okay, so it's Angeline and I have lots of carousels throughout our feed, but here are, um, I'm sorry, here are two that are very easy for y'all to see. So basically a carousel is like a miniature PowerPoint and we pin, um, carousel posts, or the, we've pinned these two carousel posts to the top of our feed so that people can find out how to work with us through coaching. And then our other one is uh, a social media management. Okay. So this one teaches how to work with us coaching. Let us guide you while you learn. And then this is the information. Again, it, we're scrolling through. It's a little PowerPoint. And then at the end, it says, learn more by commenting the word club or amplified. Club is group. Coaching amplified is our one-on-one. -on -one, okay. So that's just a carousel that teaches them who we are, what we do, who we do it for, and how they can work with us. Within that one little carousel, we used that formula to walk them through it. All right. That's a carousel. This is a graphic, simple, not a big deal. You know how to do that. Um, and picture, I don't know if we have a stagnant picture or not. I don't think we do. Um, we don't do a lot of stagnant pictures, but anyways, you, you know what that is. And then of course, a reel is a reel. Now let's talk about stories and highlights. So this highlight, these are highlights for a realtor. You need to have certain highlights. And I think later on in the presentation, if I remember correctly, I tell you as a realtor, which highlights you should have. Some of those are your sold listings, um, your awards, your recommendations. And I'll talk about that recommendation one here in a second about me. Um, the actual name of neighborhoods. So for instance, rail district is where Matt sells in this area, this historical area. You might sell in a uh, downtown Rockwall, but what, what's in, what's in neighborhood? Someone blurred out a neighborhood where you are amazing at. Just the name of a neighborhood. Anything? Fairmindy. What's it called? Veramindi. Veramindi. Okay. So your highlight might be Veramindi. And then behind that highlight, okay, is a bunch of stories that you've made about Veramindi. If you're really good at that neighborhood, then that means you're in and around that neighborhood probably often. You probably know the schools. 
You probably know the closest dry cleaner. You probably know the coffee shops. You know the parks that are nearby. You know, um, you know the grocery store. All these different things that you could post stories about. Tag that business or that place, and then save it in this highlight because anybody thinking about moving to Veramindi would think you a very big expert if you took the time to write to make stories about all these surrounding community amenities. Does that make sense? It makes it it's not about your breadth of knowledge. How many classes have I walked into for realtors and I asked who do you sell to? And they're like basically anybody above ground and breathing with a prequel. Okay. Well, if I'm I'm just going to say this, and this could be offensive, but it's true. You can soar with the eagles or you can fly with the buzzards. And if you're starting from square one, I'd soar with the eagles. You know, I'd be like, I specialize in homes and when in the median price range of $2 million, <laughs> you know, or whatever. I mean, your margins are going down by the second. You might as well invent yourself however you want if you're starting out fresh. But if you specialize in first-time home buyers, bless you, because those people are so hard to deal with because they don't know where they want to be. They're a little bit discombobulated. You got to hold their hand a lot. But there are people that are great at that. And we need those people. We need people to do everything, but find your niche and stick with it. Identify your audience, identify your buyer or seller, identify your neighborhood and create highlights that speak to them. You tend to attract who you are. So if you are an empty nester, then you probably attract empty nesters that are downsizing. So you might want to do a highlight Okay, about you. And then in your highlights, say, my husband and I are empty nesters. We have two college age kids, uh, this age and this age. They play, so we like to travel to go see them and all their college sports. But we live in this neighborhood and we just downsize to our dream home. Um, and we spend all of our free time not taking care of that big old house that we used to have. We feel, spend our free time traveling to see our children. Okay. If an empty nester stumbled upon that, about me uh, story saved into that about me highlight. They'd be like, oh my gosh, that's us. That's what we do, but we still have the big old house and we need to downsize. And that's someone that I would not mind riding around in a car on a Saturday afternoon looking at houses with because we have something in common. So you change. I'm not an empty nester. I got a 12 and a 13 year old and a 24 year old and he lives at home again. So that's not me. I'm going to attract me, you know, because that's just what you do. So think about who you are right now. And that's probably who you gravitate towards or who gravitates towards you. So lean into that. Don't be anything that you're not. Authenticity is what sets y'all all apart on this call. Y'all are all realtors. You can all sell the same damn house. They can all buy, every other person in these squares could buy the house that you have listed. What makes you unique? It's you. So you have to put you into your feed or there's no you to choose. If they can have a choice between this realtor, or this realtor, and y'all both have a bunch of pictures of my house, my realtor rocks, just sold, just listed the same boring things over and over again, then nobody has any depth with which to use to make a decision on whether they're going to use you or not. What happens is Instagram is used as your website now. Have anybody here, has anybody here gotten a referral from a friend lately or a previous client? Okay. Uh, Delisa, um, what was the referral's name? Just first name. Uh, Mark. Okay, Mark. Okay. Let's say that that Sarah sent Mark to you and said, oh, here's her Instagram profile, just, or go contact her. Or here's her business name. Here's her phone number. Here's her business name. Mark, more than likely in today's day and age, is going to go to your Instagram profile to check you out. My dad calls those tire kickers. 
They're just like kicking the tire, kind of trying to see what you're all about, right? If they come to your Instagram profile and there's nothing going on and it's a little discombobulated and it does not say, this is who I am. This is what I do. This is who I do it for. And this is how you can work with me. Mark's going to be like, hmm. She's not as great as what this lady told me she was going to be. They size you up. So dialing in, enhancing your Instagram IG profile, I mean, sorry, your curb appeal, which is the name of this class, is about winning the tire kickers that come to your account, winning them over and sealing the deal, turning clicks into cash. People use your Instagram as your website these days. Most realtors don't have a website these days, or they do through their brokerage or whatever. I know y'all all have Epic or EXP or whatever it is that, you know, y'all brokerage y'all are at. But truth be told, your Instagram is where it's at. Um, everything I'm teaching you, by the way, is applicable to other platforms like the whole who you are, what you do, who you do it for, and how they can work with you. Apply that to your LinkedIn, apply that to your Pinterest, apply that to your blog. It doesn't matter. Your email list, um, your email newsletter. Every time you post, you should be answering one of those questions in a creative way. You don't want to like, you know, be too literal about that. So anyways, um, trying to make sure before I get off of this, let's go back over to our um, presentation. Okay, so we've got carousels that walk um, your clients through a certain topic. Let me ask you this. Has anybody here by a show of hands? I just realized um, this says a bad word. I'm just going to cover that up. Uh, has anybody here by a show of hands ever posted the graphic of their newest listing on social media? Okay. Well, what I would prefer that y'all do with those graphics or those flyers, I should say, that has like a couple of pictures of the house, the price, the address, your information, you know, the flyer, the house flyer, right? Instead of posting the entire graphic, right? Because if I were to post the graphic on social media and I and I click on that post, okay? I'm clicking on that post and the graphic is there. There is literally no reason for me to click anything because I've found out all the information I need. I know how much it is. I've seen all the pictures because it's all right there. If instead you take that content from that flyer and you break it up into individual slides in a carousel, then people have to scroll to see through all the pictures. You can put one picture per slide and a little tidbit of information. And then at the end on the last slide, you can say, reach out through email to get pricing because everybody wants to know the price. So leave something to be desired for them to contact you. So take the information from the flyer, convert it to a, a carousel, post that, and it ups your engagement because at the very least they have to scroll. And Instagram to Instagram, that's like ding, ding, ding. Whatever she posted is super important or, I'm sorry, engaging because people want to know more because they're willing to slide. So... Um, this is a flyer. This is, see, I'm ahead of myself here. Um, instead of putting all this on one slide, break it up into a series of posts. Okay. Are you down with OPP? This is a really old picture. I hate a lot. And this was actually the one I wanted to change and time just slipped away from me. Um, but other people's profiles is what that stands for. This is our face, what I imagine our face looks like when we're looking at another digital marketer that seems to be killing it with their posts and we're like, eh, you know, we got to do better than them, right? So it, if you look at other people's feeds and have a sense of jealousy, 
inferiority, um, imposter syndrome, overwhelm, or like ugh, hostility. I'm just going to put my phone away because I'll never be that. It's way too much. This is for you, okay? It In 20 minutes, you could literally up increase your IG curb appeal, okay? Up level, give your Instagram a glow up in less than 20 minutes with that download I told you, okay? It's just a worksheet where you fill it out and then take what you write in those blanks on that worksheet and put it in your profile, okay? You can change your name line every 14 days. Every 14 days, you can change it to whatever you want it to say. And in those two weeks, you could be saying um, empty nesters in whatever that neighborhood was, right? Helping empty nesters in Verdelia or whatever it was called. And then for two weeks, all your posts speak to that. Your profile is dialed into that. Your link goes to a form that says, want to move to the neighborhood? You know, fill this out. It sounds more complicated than it actually is, but in less than 20 minutes, every two weeks, you can dial in your profile to speak to the audience you want to attract. And it's very important so that Instagram knows who you are and can show you to the right people. And if you do that, you'll see that conversion from clicks to cash go up. And what I mean by that is obviously two weeks, you're not going to have a closing that you're going to have more people inquiring, more people engaging, more people following you because you're being fed those genes are being lopped over your dressing room door because Instagram knows your size and your style now. And oh, what about this person? Here, take this person too. So that's how it works. Um, this is at the top of, if you go to my Instagram to Next Chapter Social, the top post in the top left-hand corner says, make a killer Instagram profile in 20 minutes. All you have to do is go to the comments on that post and type in bio. It will automatically DM you this download. And then after we're done today, you can go to, you can stay at your desk, print it out, go grab it and do it. Or you can wait till the morning when your brain is fresh and do it with your coffee, which is what I would do if I were you. Okay, so just uh, a little a little um, sneak peek of uh, a portion of the worksheet that you're going to get looks will look like this. You'll be able to dial in your username. If you're using your name, like let's say uh, Leslie Arias, okay, that's your username. You're, it might be Leslie Arias Realtor or something. Um, your headline needs to be a geotag. You need to have something about your geography. You're in New Braunfels. Um, maybe it's Comal, Comal County or something like that. But think about what people are searching when they find that area. For instance, people outside of Texas, like Californians who are coming here, don't tend to search DFW. They don't even know that term. That's something that the news uses around here. People in California are searching Dallas because that's just like an area for them. You know what I mean? Um, if they're moving to Frisco because that's where Toyota or the PGA or the Dallas Cowboys or freaking uh, uh, Universal Studios, everything seems to be moving to my little bitty town here. It's not so little at all. Um Frisco, Texas. So be specific. I would rather you be the king of a small town than a minnow in a big town. You know what I mean? Be the king of a small space and you will be sought after plenty. There's This is eight by 10 blocks where I live and Matt's built his entire career on that in 15 years. And everywhere you look, he sold a house like four times over the years, that same house, you know, so you can do it in just one neighborhood. Um, and imagine if you walked out your door to go do a, 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 a close, I mean, a, um, a open house or you, somebody called you off of a sign and you're like, Oh, okay. Well, I live three, three doors down. I'll, I'll come down and 
I'll say hi to you. And then he goes down there and he's able to show the house. It just makes it more convenient when you start with closest to home. Some people live on land though, so that might not work for you. Um, but anyways, there's your uh, sneak peek. Um, must have highlight categories for realtors. You can take a screenshot of this. Okay. And uh, sales. So anytime you do a, like my realtor rock sign because you're at the closing and whatever, you can post those every once in a while on your feed, but that doesn't make you stand apart. Okay. That is not what makes you stand out. It does show social proof that you sold something or helped somebody buy something. But more than that is the testimonial, okay, is the actual testimonial. And let me exit out of here and show you something really quick. Um, let me see. Trello board. I'm looking for something. One second. I just did these for one of my clients earlier today. So I want to show you. Okay. So she's got, she had five reviews on, on uh, Google. Okay. So I took those five reviews that she had and I created a branded graphic with a picture of their work behind it. I pulled the picture of the client and I pulled his review off of Google. If you have any customer testimonials in text message, in emails, um, in uh, on your Facebook or in Google, anywhere that you collect those, compile them and make a bunch of these to sprinkle on your social media feed. You only have to make one and then just repeat it because look, I see how they all look alike. Not everybody has a face with theirs so that we could pull, but it doesn't matter how big the review is. Just you want to share those. So that's a really good source of um, content. And um, I will say, let me stop sharing this and go back to my feed. Um, that's a really good source of, that's a better source of, of posts for you. Because if you want to do the, my realtor, my realtor rocks signs, here's a pro tip. Instead of centering y'all, right? Everybody centers themselves, be off to the side and ask your, your client after it's over, text them on their way home because the wife's probably sitting in the passenger seat and say, hey, Sarah, can you text me just a couple of words about your experience working with me? Post the picture of my, my real to rocks with you with your clients, right? At the closing. And then to the right of that, actually write the customer's words as text overlay. That is more powerful. Does that make sense? I'm going to pretend y'all all said, hell yeah. Okay. So five will be visible at a time. What that's important to note on your, the little circles, five of those are visible at a time. You can have 20, but people have to scroll through those circles to get to them. The one that is at the beginning is the one that you've added to the most recently. So let's say you have client testimonials and you, you get a client testimony and you put it in your stories and you save it to this highlight, all of a sudden this highlight will become the first one in the list. Okay. Then let's say you add a something about like you have a grandson or something like that. And you wanted to post a picture or a funny video of him playing baseball or whatever. You add it to your stories and you save it to family. That becomes your number one. And then testimonials is second. And so they're a constantly changing order. So don't worry about that. Um, you want to create a frictionless experience for your clients. So your, your, um, your story, your highlights need to be kept up with 
and dialed in. So if you are an expert in a neighborhood, then you need to have a post-it note on your steering wheel, on your computer, where it reminds you to post in your stories about that neighborhood. Maybe it's a new coffee shop. Maybe it's a new boutique. Maybe it's information about a road closing coming up. We live in the rail district and they're tearing up Main Street for the next two years. So every day a freaking new street gets shut down and they open up another one. It's so infuriating. But that's something that Matt shares with his clients through his highlights. So uh, just keep in mind that. Be the expert and think about the information that you would want to know. Guess what? If you're an expert in your neighborhood, in this particular neighborhood, you know which street is the known for the best Christmas lights. You know what street that you are supposed to exit when the school zone's in session. Y'all know how to get around that. You know all those secret insider tips that make you have the depth of knowledge instead of the breadth. So hop on your Instagram, throw up in your stories and say, hey guys, just so you know, 7th Street's getting closed down tomorrow. So if you travel through Oak Street to get around the Main Street traffic, then this is what you need to do. Take 5th Street instead until the end of October. Bye. Have a good day. Save it and then put it in your highlights. Super simple, very easy stuff, but it really up levels your um, expertise. Um, frictionless experience for you guys. A Canva brand kit. I'm going to make y'all big so I can see your face. Who here knows what a Canva brand kit is? Okay. Yay. All right. How many people all have Canva brand kits? Okay. So you know how you just click shuffle and it, it makes everything branded for you. You already know that? No? Okay. Um, well, uh, for those of you who don't know that, I'm just going to show you really quick. So we already raised our hands. Um, the Canva brand kit is my most used tool. I use the Canva brand kit every single day. I have a brand kit for every one of my clients. Um, I even have a Canva brand kit for tools that I use on a regular basis. I, I brought in their logos so that I can easily add those tools, logos to, to different graphics or whatever. I also have partnerships, people that I work with. So I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. I want to make sure I'm good on time. Okay, I don't have much time. I'm sorry. So they're essential because it ups your professionalism. It, it allows you to stay consistent. It makes all your posts unique to your business, and it saves you overall time. You have colors, you have fonts, and you have your logo, and you can upload all of those into your Canva brand kit. This is one of our clients. There's her logo. We uploaded that, and here are her colors. So now when we go to make a template, we just click, and it changes everything for us. These are her fonts, super easy. Adding brand kit photos. So let me go back to this right here. I'm going to show you my brand. Let's go over here. So you can see that we're in Next Chapter Social's brand. Here are all of our logos that we have for different classes and e-courses and our main logo here. And then we have our colors and then we have our three fonts. But the pro tip is that every three to six months, Angeline and I get new photos taken and we upload them into our Canva brand kit. So those photos are super easy for us to click, remove the background, and now we have ourselves on our flyer or whatever, and it's super easy. And I don't know why this is taking so long, but you can get the idea. So there you go. We don't need this fake person because now we have a real person. So easy. So definitely um, do Canva brain kits, but um, incorporate your own photos. It could even be quintessential pictures of the neighborhoods that you 
are known for. And you can just go out on a Saturday, put your baseball cap on and your stretch pants, sling your purse across and just go take some fun pictures of those neighborhoods that you want to be known for so that you can throw them into your graphics very easily. Um, okay, so let's move on. Uh, these were uh, Elisa's. Here's our brand kit. I already showed you that. Um, and then this right here is a little video that I made about how to create a Canva brand kit. However, I've done one better for you guys. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. So in conclusion, I showed you the lay of the land. I've given you just basic vocabulary that nobody might have ever explained to you or explained in the way that I did. Um, you can download that killer IG profile in 20 minutes. Uh, Canva brand kits, why you need them. And after this is over, Dawn's going to give me your email addresses or whatever I you can. How about you go on Next Chapter Social on Instagram and send me your email through DMs if you want the free trending brand kits, okay? These are, I've done a lot of research. These are fonts and color palettes and logos that I put together into three different kits. If you don't have a brain kit, you're not enamored with the one you have now and you want to up level it and change it, shake up your branding a little bit, then these brand sets will allow you to create brand kits. I want you to choose one of the three. There's the Boho Boss Babe, the Night Owl, and the Early Riser. That's the name of the three brand sets that I created. And um, there is a tutorial a video of me sitting right here at my desk teaching you how to make those brand sets into brand kits on Canva. Um, just as a like a shameless plug, um, social school. I just got done with this about two months ago. It is now quickly becoming our most downloaded course. It's nine modules. Um, the last three are all bonuses. Super, super laden with so many bits of information that you can immediately use. But if you're a scale of like one to maybe five on social media, this takes you back to the beginning and teaches you everything you need to know. And then some with regard to growing your small business online and standing out in a crowd in a crowded marketplace. Um, this right here, these are all the, the modules and the flow chart of the class itself. Everything in green is like a two or three minute video. Some may be as long as 10, but it's very easy for you to consume over time at your own pace. The bonus modules shows you how to write your first campaign. That right there is a $400 class. Uh, the techie stuff, there's like 10 different videos on how to do things and then how to use chat GPT for beginners. There's actually two one hour classes loaded into this module that are $100 on our website, but they're in the class for bonuses. So if you're interested in that, great. Um, I would love for you to uh, download it, but you can do that later. Uh, I just want to open up for questions if you have any or need anything. And I just want to say, if you'll put your email in the chat, I will copy the chat and I'll send it to Brooklyn. So then okay. you can send whatever you need to them. Yeah, that's super. That's great. I'm sure and they're I, all going to go follow right. you no matter what, but this just seems easier. Yeah. And I can send you a link to this presentation. It'll be a view only, um, but that way you can go back if you missed anything or just want to review. I'll send you the link to the presentation. And I see the chat and you're going to download the chat for me. Yes, I'm going to download the chat. I'm going to save the chat as soon as everybody's done. And before I get off and turn the recording off, I will save the chat and I'll email it to you. Oh my gosh, Deb, I'm copying that. That's my client testimony. I won't put your email online. Oh, I love you. Thank you for saying that. That makes me feel amazing. Thank you. That's uh, awesome. Deb. Yeah. It, um, do y'all have anything that y'all want to ask me while you have my brain? So quick question. You had said 
I think this was when I was in the car that your Instagram name, all they, all your social medias, all of it needs to be the same. Is that correct? Yes. Think about just a high 5,000 foot view here. If you're Deb loves ice cream on Instagram and um, Deborah Smith, real estate rock wall on Facebook and on LinkedIn, you're Deborah, um, you know, uh, Johnson, because you got married. And you know what I mean? People can't easily find you. And I'm not saying I'm making that up. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I get um, it. You yeah. want to be consistent across platforms so that you create a frictionless experience for the people trying to find you. If some Tom, Dick, or Harry is trying to refer you and they're like, oh, her name's Deb. What's her last name? And they say, Smith. Okay, Deb Smith. You want that person to go to any debsmith.com, Deb Smith on Instagram and be able to find you. But if you have, we like to say that our ideal client has coffee drinking, dog loving mama in their Instagram profile. Something like that, you know, that is not searchable. No one Instagram is not being like, oh, she's a coffee drinking, dog loving mama. I'm going to show her you're in the warm yogurt, my friend. That's where you're over there hanging out with the warm yogurt because Instagram doesn't know what to do with you. You're just a personal account that converted to a business account and doesn't know what the hell is going on. That is so fine because you don't know better until you, you can't do better until you know better. And just mm -hmm. you sitting your hiney in a chair and listening to me drone on for the last hour makes you ahead of the game. Y'all know more now than most of the people out there as far as real estate agents go. Now it's up to you to do something with it, though. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Brooklyn, I, I don't thank think you. that answered all the things. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will see you on the other side because I'm going to go sign up for your stuff like immediately. So everybody. Yay. All right. I love it. I'll send you all the things. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay. Right. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.